you are currently focused on the development of uh, uh, soft mist inhalers, which is a very sensitive product, and uh, drug delivery products. Can you share some of your unique challenges that you have faced in developing these innovative drug device combinations? So, um, yeah, definitely um, drug device combination or where you have a drug delivery, a part of it. Uh, a standard device is very much limited to um, just you have a device, you uh, validate it, uh, you use it. Let, let's suppose if it's an extra machine or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, it is it is quite simple because you, you don't have the drug part. But in terms of quality and regulatory, it gets really messy and complicated if you have a drug device combination yes. product. So um, if you have a simple um, angiography with a simple stent without any drug, it is a whole different story. If you have a drug eluting um, stunt which is a drug on it it is it has added benefit definitely but it has it introduces uh, more complexity into the quality as well as the regulatory approval of the device absolutely yeah. same goes for the inhalation products so if we if we, ha we have an inhaler if you use this inhaler so um, the plus point about an inhaler, I just want to explain here what is a soft mist inhaler. It is different from a normal inhaler because it has a it has no um, gas in it. It is not a mm. pressurized container. Okay. It is it, it is um, it has a high pressure. You create this high pressure using your own energy, mechanical energy. Okay. Your hand. Uh, but and this this energy uh, forces the liquid formulation uh, to come out of the pores. In a in a form of a fine mist, okay. it's it's completely different. So form. kind of press it. Press, uh, is there's no like there's no pressurized container. There is there's no, no nitrate yeah. gas in there. It's just pure yeah. medicine, and you use it. You use exactly. own air pressure. Yeah. Okay. It has um, uh, it has a better um, deposition because it's not very fast moving particle. Mm -hmm. Particles going. You control deep. the flow. Yeah. You control the flow. You control the flow, and um, and, and what's what's really important for this. What, what I want to mention here, that in comparison to the other uh, market products, it does not um, um, destroy the molecule or the particle in the drug. So very sensitive drugs like biologics uh, or any other products, mRNAs enabled products, they could be inhaled using this device, and this is. Uh, the USP of this device, I would say, oh, okay. you can use this um, in in very sensitive uh, medications with very sensitive medications. Mm -hmm. Now going back to 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 the challenges which we have. First of all, the, the the foremost challenge we have it's a combination product. You have you have the um, uh, the certification for this device. For example, for um, um, the salt solution, saline solution, mm -hmm. it is helpful it gives you your lungs free and so on but if you have a client who wants to use medication a you have to get with uh, this device with that drug re-perform all the risk assessment with that right with some of the design testing as well so this is the challenge the the, the added cost in most of the cases it could be this burden could be uh, put on the the client if you yeah. have any medication because the device has a dependency on the on the the viscosity of the drug and the substance, the, the leach, yeah. leachability interaction with everything, the, 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 everything yeah. you have to perform and the and the and the um, how stable is this? Like uh, yes. the drug stability, yep, yep. The drug is um, is stored in this uh, in the syringe because the syringe is the reservoir for the right. device. Mm -hmm. It's closure system, mm -hmm. um, container closure system. The the container, yep, yep. And um, it needs to sometimes, in some cases, it needs to stay there for six months or one year. Yeah, what shelf life we are determined? Yeah, yeah shelf life is determined. Yeah. So all the test needs to be repeated, uh, and it's a it's a, it's a burden for uh, for us. So therefore, for us, it's uh, at this time it's more focused on B two B where we can do clinical studies with this device. And um, to to give a proof of concept if the drug is working in the clinical 
um, uh, setting environment here yeah, yeah. clinical environment um, there are some challenges like clinical trials are getting more and more expensive it's really difficult to get <laughs> i understand with the cost going up everything going up yeah, every yeah, everything you can imagine going, yeah yeah so but on the other side um we uh, we are still hopeful that that this type of technology has um some say in the market yeah I mean, 